Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please stay in the highest of vibrational energy and I pray that you stay in the purest of white light. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the pures of white light once again for you all. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall you be. The judgment is final. I'm adjusting my mic before we do all oracle cards. Okay. Okay, let's see what our oracle messages are. But the start of the reading. Okay. It says, saving grace, forgiving yourself and others heals the wounds and sets you free. Release burdens. Oh, that is powerful. 44 protection is the number the four is the number of protection security supports all kinds of stuff like that okay um it says your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future i am supported amen honest echoes but goodness what a statement listen to the whispers of your hearts for you know the whole truth on withering faith. Okay. Thank you for that, Source. My goodness, those are powerful statements. <laughs> okay, so if someone, anyone out there, if you are feeling discouraged about the path that you are on or people are making you feel discouraged, you are being reminded that you are absolutely on the right path and don't let anyone steer you off of that path discourage you or anything like that okay you know exactly yeah people would try to cause conflict and still miss stagnation and all of that manipulations to get you off of your path but you are on the right path i'm telling you and this is how this is where you're supposed to be and it's going to lead to growth acceleration support all types of positive uh, outcomes for you so stay the course i'm telling you stay the course okay stay the course abundance is lies ahead of you Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Okay, let's see what in the name of source is going on out here. We had someone going from having a wish fulfillment to being in poverty. This is some, something maybe someone was intending for you. Throughout my reading, I've been getting something about a king, queen of pentacles and a queen of wands working together behind the scenes to cause some type of, I was going to say, stagnation, manipulation, and then the uh, seven of cups, cups is showing out. So these two women have been causing some type of manipulation and still made behind the scenes for someone, okay? Uh, and when I see those two, I often either see the five of pentacles, the four of swords, or the tower. Letting me know that if this has not happened already, these two women are in for some type of rule awakening. It could be an accident. Someone could get arrested. I did have a dream about someone being arrested. They were running from the cops, but someone got arrested at their workplace. And this was a feminine energy because she's been doing something illegal behind the scenes. Someone stole something. Someone did something they were not supposed to do. So there's a little surprise behind the scenes for someone. So someone is coming out of comfort being able to indulge in the final things in life someone may be splurging this person like someone is going through a transition that either they did not see coming or they've been trying to prevent so because they've been trying to prevent themselves from being let go uh they've been causing stagnation for someone else because they feel like you are the reason someone is either letting them go or they're losing access to some type of resource they basically see you as the enemy i'm telling you they see you as the enemy they're trying to hold on to whatever it is that they they believe they deserve which they do not because someone has not worked for the things that they have this is one of those leeches in life okay this is one of those leeches and she knows it <laughs> She knows you all know as well. She may be with like a masculine. Yeah, this is someone that plays with people's emotions. She plays with people's emotions. She gets, she befriends people with an ulterior motive. 
So someone could either end up in like a car accident, losing all of their wealth. There's a queen of pentacles that feels invincible behind the scenes. Uh, you may want to start threading with caution because you're about to lose everything. I know you feel secure in life, right? You've got people to support you, work with you, to tear someone down, destroy someone. You may want to walk away because the both of you are very vain. You and everyone you've been able to pay to get to cause some type of stalemate for someone else. You all need to walk away because what's up ahead is not pretty, okay? Whoever you're trying to block, whoever you're trying to, I don't know, get fired or something, honey, it's, this is a plan of you all to get, you've, you've been trying this for a while, trying to get someone fired from work, trying to get someone to lose all sorts of incomes, trying to block someone's platform, I think. Um, you've been doing quite a lot behind the scenes, messing with people money. I'm telling you, you've been messing with people money. Have them waiting on payments, payouts, all kinds of stuff. This is about to be you not having any money, thinking, hey, when when am I gonna get my next paycheck? But someone behind someone behind the feed, the, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me, thank you. Someone behind the scenes feels invincible. She may have a lot of money, and maybe she used this money to attach herself to some type of masculine. And then you have her little partner in crime that attached herself to a masculine for money. So these two women are quite busy behind the scenes trying to keep some type of narrative from going. You may have a queen of pentacles that's intimidated by you collective. So she do, she's doing everything you can think of to block you from arriving at your destination, block you from connecting to someone. Someone's very desperate, but this woman is very desperate behind the scenes. Absolutely desperate, empathetic. And this is how people see her and this one as well. This one has gotten used to being able to use someone's money. Oh, honey, can I go shopping? Oh, honey, you remember you said you was going to buy me that Louis Vuitton bag? Oh, honey, blah, 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 blah. He's looking into her. He said, what the heck is this mess? You mean this is what this is what I've been putting up with? You got to go. You got to go. Someone's true character has been exposed. Someone may be walking away from her, and this is what she's been trying to prevent the whole time. He said, um... Uh, I want to go on and find true love. You are a leech. Yeah, he wants to have a new beginning in love. He don't want to be with this woman. So someone is falling from some type of grace, okay, because they were being given time by the universe to get things right. But someone is too much of a narcissist and a gold digger to be able to even want to, to put in the effort. This is the person that will pretend that they're healed. They're, they've done what the work. You know, they care about the relationship now. Once you say you're leaving them out in the cold. Oh, honey, don't do that. You know I love you. We're meant to be. We're meant to be. He said, no, we're not meant to be. Get out. So someone may be falling from grace as far as losing access to someone's income, someone's money, someone's luxury. Someone is, honey, baby, I, I don't even know how to put this. But it's a dis. I was gonna say it's a disappointment <laughs> for this person. It's a disappointment. It's a disappointment because she's been playing a role for a long time now. It's a burden because she's been found out. I said, "Oh, so you really don't care about me? I know you don't care about me. You've been pretending to like me. You don't. You've been pretending to care about me, and you don't. Okay, you don't. The truth is out. You don't care about any that person you are with. It's just for money. You're just there for money." Someone, I don't know, like, if a masculine got tricked in, yeah. <laughs> a sis is going through her ending. She's having a hard time getting out of this one, okay? <clears throat> I feel like a masculine was set up with a feminine energy, and he doesn't even know it. For example, this could be, like, someone being paired up with their ex. Say you and someone meet and they have interest in you. You two are a little bit different. Okay, maybe it's in belief systems, how you two look, social class, backgrounds, and things like that. The, his friends and families come together and encourage him to go back to the past. Or maybe this is someone new. They know this person is not good for him. But because they don't want him with you, they encourage him to go back to someone toxic or to get with someone toxic because it's easier to control him that way. 
This is not just a one-man show when it comes to this woman taking advantage of someone. She was put in that position by other people, and they've been helping her carry out this uh, plan of hers. Playing, playing, uh, yeah, trying to secure her bag. This is how she secures her bag. Trying to secure her, 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 her future. Okay, because there's the there's a masculine out there that's dumb, dumb enough. He just takes money and gives it to women, and this is his his language of love, giving to the women, giving and giving and giving and giving. That's his language. That's some people' language when it comes to love. Them splurging you with gifts. Is them telling you that they love you. Some people's language of love is words telling them you love them. Some people's language of love is, you know, uh, touching and things like that. Okay, hugs, back rubs, massages, things like that. Everybody's language of love is different. And you have some people that everything is their language of love. You give them gifts, you touch them, you say sweet words to them. Yeah. This woman, her language of love is taking, receiving, giving that's so much receiving hallelujah that's her and he his language of love is giving and giving and giving and giving he's he's at a point where now he's realizing he's not getting nothing back from this relationship whether it's caressing whether it's good words sweet words whether it's a uh, uh, material things support he's not getting nothing from this relationship okay so he may be putting an end to this relationship with her being out in the cold. You have people playing around with someone's income. I'm telling you, this is this woman's way of securing. Yeah, a thief. This is her way of securing the bag for herself. This woman is determined to secure this ten of cups for herself. <coughs> okay. She is determined to secure this ten of cups. She don't care if it's genuine, if there's love, nothing. And the family has been working with her, her family, her friends, his family, his friends, all working together to steal this 10 of cups from someone else so that this woman can stay where she is. Because you know what? They're all benefiting from her being with him. They use him. He gives them money. Honey. So you have a family out here, a couple out here that's trying to steal something. They may be trying to steal a just I, I don't it is stealing in a sense. They're trying to steal someone's source of income basically by blocking it. Someone is doing something very malicious, or a group is doing something malicious behind the scenes to end your stability, right? Or try to end your stability. And it's not gonna end well for them. And I keep saying it on this platform, whatever they are doing behind the scenes is ending up worse for them than it is for you okay so this is that people get together to steal a hundred dollars from you they end up using losing a hundred thousand they steal ten thousand from you they end up use, uh, losing uh, a million dollars or something like that so the planes are being leveled by your ancestors but at the outcome your enemies are not happy they're not getting their wish fulfillment okay they're not getting the desired outcome that they won because they don't realize they've been playing with themselves they've been juggling their own futures because they've been so stern and determined in destroying someone else's future i'm telling you so whatever they thought they were going to get away with they're not there are even people out here playing with platforms they're hacking platforms and things like that there's a group out here that are playing with people platforms hacking into platforms playing with numbers blocking people's growth and things like that. And it's not just one person they're doing it to. They're doing it to multiple people in the same niche. They said, oh, well, it's not just you. You know, this other person is going through that too. No, 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 no. There's someone playing with numbers behind the scenes and they're going to get found out. This is not something you are getting away with. I don't know why you think you're getting away with it. You're not. It, it's not going to end well for you all. <clears throat> So you may think that you're not being investigated for hacking, uh, hacking these platforms, but just know that you are being investigated. You know, sometimes these hackers, they think because their IP addresses are masked or something that people can't find out what it is they're doing. I mean, the, if the, FBI, the FBI is involved in something because if a platform has been operating a specific way for 
10 years, 20 years or whatever, all of a sudden there's a type of glitch is happening and numbers are all over the place. Something's not making sense. You really think they're not going to look into it? Of course they're going to look into it, you dumb dumb. Yeah, this is you all's future. <clears throat> man down. Like Rihanna said, man down. Ram, bam, bam, bam. Ram, bam, bam, bam. Because in a sense, what are you doing? You're playing with someone's source, someone's uh creation. They're, they're, what is it? This is someone's business you're playing with as far as YouTube. So you have YouTube and you're playing with their numbers and things like that. It causes problems with their employees and things like that. You know, the, the, the uh, uh, um, content creators, it causes problems between YouTube and its content creators. YouTube has a system put in place that it's, it works effectively. You don't have to do too much, right? Things flow naturally, okay? So you come in there, you the hacker, because you don't want to see someone grow. You start playing with numbers and things like that. That alerts YouTube automatically. They're like, wait, this, this is not natural. This is not how things go. It's never been this way. There's something up. Obviously, a platform that like YouTube, they have a, a engineers behind the scenes that are top tier. So when something is not going right, obviously there's going to be some type of investigation going on so something is being looked into then right they're going to make sure they're looking into something to find the truth that why is this person's number being messed with why is this person's platform glitching so often why is why is this person's platform crashing like this things like that why is this happening to all of these people in this niche why is it not going out into this other niche there is being looked into and you people are so dumb you, you People rely on VPNs a little bit too much. A little bit too much. A little bit too much. You all have legal issues coming in, by the way. Someone will be getting arrested. Absolutely arrested. There's a woman desperate behind the scenes for a specific energy to not make it to their destination. I'm telling you, they don't want you making it to your destination. They want, want you to feel like you're lying to yourself. Whatever you're doing is not the right thing to be doing. So she's taking actions behind the scenes to block you, block your work. She don't want people to see that you're committed. Someone does not want people to see that you are skilled at what you do. She's intimidated by you. So she wants to make sure you don't arrive at your destination because when you once you arrive at your destination, people are going to be questioning her work or this could be a masculine as well. <clears throat> people are going to be questioning their work. Gonna be the uh you've been lying this whole time. You're not as skilled as we thought you were skilled. You just be making this stuff up um as you go, huh? And they're gonna see that someone is very vain and superficial. They only do things for money, they don't have passion about what it is they do, they're insecure as heck. People are going to see all of that. So because someone does not want you to arrive at your destination be, uh, uh, and have people looking at them with bombastic side eyes criminal offensive side eyes they're interfering with your work your journey trying to cause stagnations and still mix okay i'm telling you but this is you you're still going to be arriving come on sally <laughs> we are on a board we're on the ship we are coming we don't care how long it takes us to get to our destination but we are going to have wish fulfillment and we're going to have a lot of options and opportunities, streams of incomes and things like that. Okay, Sally? So everything you're doing, all the money, you, I'm telling you, we are going to arrive at our destination. We will have people partnering up with us. We will have people supporting us. Collective, this is what they don't want you having. She don't want people trusting you. She don't want people partnering up with you, people working for you. This is someone that's tempering with alliances so just in case you make it that's what she's saying just in case she makes it here you are forming an alliance with me to say that you are not going to be supporting her you will not be working with her you're going to reject her if she arrives here that's what someone is doing but sally this is the future you're not going to be in the future by the way yeah you're not going to be in the future because balance is going to be brought into this situation there is someone around you that sees exactly what you're doing and you look like a clown to this person and actually i'm being corrected there's a group around you that sees you as a clown saying you need to put on your red nose we need to get you a red nose sally and someone is 
still going to be receiving their ears of pentacles from the most high look at that sally oh, oh. poor little thing thing in divine timing poor little thing thing she thought she was doing something to our collective she thought she was doing something sally you need to learn to stop stealing you've stolen from other people before but you picked the wrong one to steal from it seems you have legal issues coming in sally <clears throat> i'm telling you sally <laughs> you had issues coming in <clears throat> You got problems coming in, Sally. You and your minions has been working with you. You have issues coming in. Okay? Yeah, you have issues coming in. I'm telling you. Dang. Dang. Dang, Sally. It ain't looking good for you. Mm. Whoever this is that's been manipulating the masculine to stay with her, honey, he ain't staying. <clears throat> He ain't staying, honey. He ain't staying. Anytime you got to manipulate someone to stay with you so you can have access to their income or whatever, that's pathetic as heck, honey. We got to say a prayer for you. I, not me. If the collective wants to, they can do that. You're going to have to move on with your life. You need, you have some healing to do. This is pathetic as heck. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Yeah, he, he's, he's dead in that situation. There's someone behind the scenes, a masculine. Dang. The tower and the death. Dang. My goodness. <clears throat> so some of you have a masculine. This could be like a couple working behind the scenes against you. And the both of them are going through some type of ending. This tower has been showing up in almost, <sighs> almost all of my readings. Someone is going through some type of karma and it was so quick or it's going to be so quick. They won't even see it coming. This is like someone going to a practitioner to manifest some type of illness or some type of uh, death for you. Someone is not, honey, and they get in their car. Let's say he and this woman get in some type of argument, whether is she, whether she's the one going to the practitioner or he's the one going to the practitioner, honey. Whoever is going to the practitioner, one of these people end up in a car accident because both of them get in an argument, tempers are flaring, nerves are all over the place. Someone's going to end up in an accident. Someone is sick, having a hard time recovering. They will not be recovering. Someone is about to go back home. Go back home. And this is because... Someone in here is very vain, okay? Very vain. They're desperate behind the scene. There's a de honey. The, the the word desperate is an understatement for these feminine energies behind the scenes. Someone is desperate, desperate. They they're seething with anger behind the scenes. If you were around this person, you would see them physically, like the anger, the hate, like it's just. It's just there. They're losing their temper with people. All you have to say is hi. The, the, what the heck do you want? I was, I was just saying hi. God dang it. I was just saying hi. Never mind. I'll take my hello back. Someone is angry behind the scenes. Okay? They are angry. Why are they angry, darling? It's because you, you're stealing onto common waters. You're healing. You're recovering. You're not paying these people mind, right? You still have partnerships coming in. Your pathway is still clear. The truth is revealed. Someone knows the true character of another person. She's been pretending to be, you know, a secure woman, a high vibrational woman, a supporter. All of that. This will be one of the situations where your enemies is stalking you, pretending like she supports you, but behind the scenes, she's the one fooling around with your work if you work a nine to five fooling around with your business fooling around with your uh, uh, uh your platforms and things like that this will be one of these people so you have a queen of pentacles that's doing this behind the scenes this could be her mother by the way or his mother because she don't want you two to be together and she says i have all the money in the world to keep causing you blockages and stagnations something's going on with her health she's not doing too well 
that, that that's how it goes that's how it goes you feel invincible with your money and most i say okay you can keep that money i'm gonna let you keep the money but you're you're sick you're, you're gonna get an illness and you're not able to recover from it you'll be stuck with this illness for life in pain all kinds of stuff so someone is gonna have to do some introspection and decide my health or blocking this person my health or blocking this person my health of blocking this person we're about to see someone is very bitter very bitter they're used to money being able to get them everything they've spent a whole lot of money to block you and for some reason you're still moving forward so the most high is using you collective to teach someone a lesson this moron too this this desperate energy this woman behind the scenes is forcing herself on a man i'm telling you she's toxic she don't have anything to offer to anyone her legs is spread easily to everyone she's with she's with a man and she has another partner and another partner if she needs a favor hey what she uses what her mama gives her ending for you there man down woman down at the end of the day okay Collective, stay vigilant because people like this, when they get real desperate, that's when they'll start trying to come into your energy to pick a fight with you, with you, because they know you're someone's true love. Yeah, she's trying to block true love and she thinks she's going to get away with it. You're not. Someone is getting real desperate behind the scenes. I'm going to go talk to her. I, I want to meet that B. I want to see that B. Who the heck is she? It's like, uh, who are you? <laughs> She's his wish fulfillment, apparently, dear. <laughs> someone, I had a dream where someone went to the DMV. They may have some type of connection in the DMV. And they went to get private information on someone in order to have access to your yeah, your private information, your driver's license number, driving record, your vehicle, all kinds of stuff. But someone's real desperate behind the scenes to keep a masculine or to get a masculine to choose her. He don't want you. I don't know if he's not telling you. Let us tell you so you can hear it. He don't want you. That man don't want you. If you gotta go through all this trouble to get a man, he don't want you. You're not, you're either not his type, not his soul twin, or he's just not interested. Maybe someone is focused on healing, ascending, moving on with life, something like that. If you gotta go through all this trouble to keep a man, you, you two are not meant to be together. So every action you're taking, honey, the most has gonna keep causing problems for you every plan every action you take every idea you come up with everything you do you're innovative with maliciousness you're innovative with dark ideas and the most high is innovative with setting back putting balance into situations and he don't care what the most high he she it does not care what they have to do to make sure balance is brought into the situation so whether it's you being out of here, get out of here, get out of here, girl. Whether it's you being out of here, whether it's you being sick, whether it's you losing all of your finances, losing your stability, your access to wish fulfillment as far as luxurious living, the Most High has no problems taking any of that away in a heartbeat, right? No problems. So they're going to take everything away. There's a masculine in here that's dumb as well. I don't know why he's talking about he wants to uh, secure someone before he... These kind of people, honey, I can't. They're a headache. I'm telling you, this masculine wants to have a new beginning somewhere. And he's protecting himself, keeping his distance from someone, a feminine energy. He's keeping his distance because he sees her for exactly who she is. Say, oh, you've been using me for my money. You've been using me for my money. 
And some of you, I'm telling you, collaboration, investigation, collaboration, investigation. You two are going to, you and whoever you're supposed to meet with, you all will meet when you least expect it. You may have, I don't know, if someone has a lot of questions, you'll get the answers. That's her side. So there's a whole story going on where the, the masculine, his ex is doing all of this. And then you, collective, your ex, some of you ex is involved in this. He's going through some type of ending. While he's going through an ending, he's more focused in causing you an ending. Some, someone thought they could come back into your life to have some type of new beginning with you. No, 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 no. Sorry, said absolutely not. So whatever plan or whatever he was planning to come in and feed you some type of nonsense that you two could heal things and move on to karma waters or something, the most I said, absolutely not. This contract has been void a long time ago. We told you that you know it. You effed up royally. So you got to lay in the bed you made, the grave you dug for yourself. You got to lay in there. If you want some humble pie, here it is. Be gone. The, whoever this is that you disappointed is moving on. And they're going to end up with love, support, okay? New beginnings. They've been trying to complicate your new beginning as much as possible. Causing still myths and things like that. But you're still receiving your new beginnings, collective. This is a decision that has been made. This is a decision that has been made by spirit. So someone may want to ask you for like forgiveness and things like that. They say, can you, uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what was going on. Blah, 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 blah. It's up to you to forgive this person or not. This is a whole story going on behind the scenes in a, in a collective. I don't know you're feminine or masculine. You don't even know. That uh, someone that wants to connect with you, the ex is bad, s h i t crazy, and then you have your ex trying to end you, so you don't receive a love offer or trying to uh, uh, beat someone to the punch. He doesn't have a contract with you anymore, so this whole thing here is very colorful and entertaining for the Most High. I'm telling you, someone wants to come in, beat someone to the punch, you know, come in with some fancy words at you. I'm so sorry I didn't see you for who you were in the past and I neglected you and took you for granted. I've changed. I see things from a higher perspective now. And you're looking at them at them like my brother, if you cross that line, one of us will get arrested. Some someone wouldn't even have the chance to come around you. Someone does not even have the chance, the opportunity. Someone is being blocked out of your energy. The contract is over. You are never going to see this person in another lifetime. Like the contract is over. I don't know if someone's having a hard time dealing with this because these are people that do indulge in some form of magic, dark magic, especially that ex of yours. Oh, honey, that's like Baba Yaga walking. That's like Dr. Macellis from Princess and the Frog. He has friends on the other side. His friends on the other side may have turned on him because he's not giving them what he promised. <clears throat> he promised them some souls. He promised them the soul of an earth angel, and he's not able to deliver. So his friends have turned on him and said, you know what? You promised us an earth angel. You can't provide the earth angel. You haven't been able to provide the earth angel, so we're dragging you down here with us. Come on, it's time to go. You all remember that scene when Dr. Macellus was being dragged to the H-E double hockey stick and he was yelling, no, oh, disappointment. Someone made the wrong decision and they're burdened. They know what's coming up. They know what's coming up. You saw Dr. Macellus in that show, right? He was into all of those dark, that dark work. And then when it came time for him to pay up and he couldn't pay up, he was walking around worried and desperate. I'm telling you, worried and desperate because he knew what was coming up if he didn't provide that the soul of that prince. He didn't provide the prince to those people from the other side. He knew what, what, what was up ahead of him. Oh, man, <laughs> he knew. And he kept 
and he got real desperate started changing losing his temper and everything someone is going through that he said you pro you promised us our earth angel whole time the devil knew the friends on the other side knew they couldn't have the earth angel but they let whoever this is make the promise take the deal take the deal he said, yeah, your friends, you can be with your friends on the other side now. How about that? You've got friends on the other side. You should be good then when you get there. You should be good now, Sally. Oh, look, 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 I guess, it, I guess that's a lie. You're not going to be good, Sally. You're not going to be good, Jimmy. Your friends on the other side, they're done. With your, your your madness, you've made them too many false promises. You've made them too many false promises. Yeah. Too many false promises. These people are determined to block some type of union, whatever meeting, but they're defeated. These people are defeated. <laughs> they're defeated. Oh, my Lord. Listen, I've been talking about this heifer here, and here she comes. So there's something where you, like, you are an empress. So this is an aspect of you that's showing up. There's also a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that feels very solid in life. This is a single woman. She don't got no man. So this is a desperate energy. Her money can't get her the man that she wants, the love that she wants. Because someone is very uh, repulsive. Her energy is repulsive. She gives off that desperate energy. You know, one of those people where they have money, so they just expect people to flock to them, but nobody cares. Nobody cares, Sally. Nobody cares. They don't care how much money you have, Sally. <laughs> nobody cares. They only talk to her if she's talking money. Is that you want me to do this? You got money? Yeah. If she's not offering money, they don't really care to be around her. Even while she has the money, people look at her funny and say, oh, okay. Like, why are you so focused on someone that's not paying you any attention? If you say you're better than this person, why are you so focused on them? Why are you so intimidated about them? Sally here don't got no, no answers. But your ancestors are watching Sally. Is it like, Sally? Okay. This here, this earth angel here, right here, we don't told you to leave her alone. Leave him alone. You don't listen. So we're, we're coming for you. Sally's health is about to be questionable. And it won't be something Sally is going to be able to recover from. Yes, yeah, you won't be able to recover, Sally. Mm. You won't be able to recover. You may want to let this go. I know you you're I know you are, you know, set on destroying someone that has done nothing to you, Sally. Whatever your your real name is, Mia, Sally. Whoever you are, you may want to let this go. You may want to let this go. You may want to let this go. It's not going to end well for you. Okay? Sally said, I'm still going to keep trying to destroy you. I'm still going to keep trying to destroy you while I'm losing my finances. <laughs> You're trying to destroy some of finances and their angels are telling them, you you are secure, baby. Don't worry about what this person is doing. Don't worry. Don't worry about what she's doing. We got her. We got a number for her. And this is not a number she's going to be able to forget because this is going to be a lifelong, a lifelong one. Sally's going to sit and watch you come together with someone you become independent in everything. Everything. She's going to sit back and watch you. Sally said, no, don't work with her. She don't know what she's talking about. Don't work with him. He don't know what he's talking about. And the source said, oh, okay. So you get to decide now who knows what they're talking about. Oh, okay, Sally. So they sat back and let Sally carry out her plan for a long time it says sally says she has money so she can do whatever she wants obviously sally thinks she's the uh, uh uh she's god she thinks she's 
more powerful than me. She knows better than I do. And the spirit realm is just watching her carry out her deeds, wasting her money, watching her throw her money in the drain. And they're like, okay, it's time for us to take action and bring balance into the situation. Your ancestors want you to know, your angels want you to know everything is A okay. Everything is A okay. Okay? There's balance. There's something that's been balanced out, and someone did not expect it to go this way. They expected you to be down and out, out in the cold, poor, homeless, disgusted, all kinds of things. Bruised, broken, and whatever else people say. But that's not your future. That's not your life. That's not your calling. This is you. This is you. So whatever setbacks someone has been trying to cause you, they are about to go through it. You know, it's you know what's funny? Yeah, and that's what they don't see coming. They're li they're living in fear behind the scenes. Someone is still carrying out some type of ritual. It's not gonna work. You know what's funny? Sometimes people karma. Why they're trying to block you, let's say trying to block you and a masculine from coming together, their karma is that masculine becoming repulsive at the sight of them. It's like, you can't have him, I love him, we're going to be together, and he can't stand to be around her. Like the very idea of, him, of her touching him makes his skin crawl. That's someone's karma. A masculine does not want to be with them. They've done everything to block you from having connections with someone, and that person don't even want them. He looks at her like just a little girl, insecure. That's how someone sees a woman out here. And she's busy out here pretending to be holier than thou, pretending to be the better option, and he sees right through her. That's, honey, secondhand embarrassment is something I feel a lot for people. He said, why, why? Of all the options you had, why did you go with that one, Sally? Why did you go with that one, Sally? Okay. So someone has gone above and beyond. You have legal issues coming in, Sally. Legalities. Whatever you all have been doing behind the scenes. Yeah, legalities. You thought you were getting away with it. You're not. You're not. Something is not as hidden as you all thought it was. I'm telling you, something is not as hidden as you thought it was. It's being looked into. It's being looked into. Like the platform thing, it's being looked into. So you all did it. Maybe you haven't heard something for a while and you thought, oh, well, we did that. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. It's being looked into. And when you least expect it, that's when they're going to strike. Because they're making sure. You know how the FBI works, right? They don't strike until they have all their I's dotted, T's crossed, dot, uh, ducks lined up. Then they come in with all the evidence you can think of. You can't refute nothing. So we have A, B, C, 2, Z. So we need you to sit down. You want some coffee? You want some soda? You want something to drink? Because we're going to be here for a while. We need you to explain to us why did you hack into this platform on this day? Why were you messing with this person's platform? Why were you doing this? Why, why were you at this location? Why were you logging into this system? Why were you blah, 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 blah? That's what's coming for you guys. A whole bunch of evidence, and that's what you don't see. You all have been doing something repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. You've gotten comfortable, and you don't realize every time you do it, you're leaving. Uh, a, a print behind. Every time you're logging into a platform to do something, every time you're doing it, and you all did this on a grand scale level for these hackers, they said, oh, we got to hack YouTube. We got to hack TikTok to make sure we can do things from the inside. So it looks like it's YouTube that's doing it to this person or to these people. And so it looks like it's TikTok that's doing it to these to these uh creators. But the whole time it's not the platform that's doing it. It's hackers that have hacked into the system. Make it make sense. And then you have people online pissed off at these platforms, 
YouTube is doing this to me. You no, it's not the platform. It's someone that has hacked into the system. They're doing it. It's a group of morons that think they're so smart. Yeah, they think they're so smart, but this is them. I'm telling you in divine timing. Oh, honey, this is you all. So whatever you've been doing, you best believe it is known. Someone started off with having access, with having some type of access to someone that worked at the platform. And they were paying someone to do something, but they weren't happy with the results. They said, hey, Johnny, I need you to log in and block this person's work. Make sure they don't get a lot of views. Make sure they don't get paid for the work they're doing. Oh, not just one person, though. A whole lot of platform, uh, content creators go through this. So there was someone behind the scenes initially that was doing this. But whoever was paying was not happy with the results. So they went and got hackers to hack into the system itself. They said, now we control YouTube. We want you to grow, you grow. We don't want you to grow, you don't grow. So folks, it's a disappointment for you all ahead of the road, up ahead, whatever they say. It's disappointment, it's heartbreak. Because everything you've been doing, once again, it's being documented. It's being documented, everything. And so you're under an illusion thinking that you got away with something. You didn't get away with nothing. You did not get away with nothing. Some of you need to start enjoying your last day in the light. I'm telling you, you, you guys didn't get away. You're not getting your wish fulfillment. You are not getting your wish fulfillment. Okay? Someone does not want to work with you all behind the scenes anymore. Okay? Whoever this woman thought she was going to manipulate the thing that, oh, we're so twins. We need to stay together. He don't see you as a soul twin. What does this say in reverse? Unbalanced relationship, disharmony, conflict, distrust, tense relationship, misread, quarreling, temporary conflict. Yeah, he, he sees you for what you are. So what they've done is got together. For those of you where this has to do with a relationship or you and someone coming together to work, they've caused so much conflict. Someone said, let me pull back and let this play out because this is just too much drama. I don't think the person I'm trying to connect with is the one causing all of this drama, but I need all of this to blow over so that when I do come together with this person, there's peace and quiet. So if someone is like, let's say, going through some type of separation, divorce, breakup, or whatever, they're not going to reach out to you until everything has blown over and everything this person and the group has been doing behind the scenes is exposed and everything has calmed down. That's when someone is going to take some type of action to bring balance back into a connection. You two will meet accidentally. So it's not something that's going to be planned. Like, hey, we're going to meet on Tuesday at 4 o'clock at Denny's. No. Someone is waiting for something to blow over because they may know someone has legal issues coming in. She may have tried to even steal from this masculine. Not just genuine connections, but his love as well. This is so beautiful. Rising flames, honey. Some of you are the uh, phoenix rising from the ashes and people are trying to block you from arriving at your destination. They don't want you rising. Your ancestors have called you to the task and you've answered the call. And someone said, no, they didn't really answer the call. They, they don't know what they're talking about. And your ancestors are bombastic side eyeing like someone like, who the heck are you? And why are you putting your mouth in family business? You're not family. And they're busy. This is basically what someone is doing. They're busy, busy, uh, busy. They're talking about, I can do it better than them. I can do it better than them. I'm a better empress than they are. And your ancestors are, again, bombastic side eyeing someone. They're like, who the heck is this moron? You're not part of our lineage. Will you sit down? Will you be quiet? That's what they're telling someone. Someone wants your destiny. And they've been trying to manipulate your ancestors and other beings that you that they are a better option than you are and these beings are looking at this person like oh lord we are trying our best to be patient with with this person but who when i tell you they're looking at each other like mm, 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 mm. patience is a virtue silence is a virtue as well 
and they're just trying their best to be patient with her. But the patience has run, run out, has ran out. Because that's exactly what someone is doing. Your ancestors have called you to do something, restore your bloodline. You answer the call. You say, I will do it. It's going to be difficult, but I'm answering the call because I need us to be back to where we used to be. Okay? And here comes a stranger. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Pick me, pick me, pick me. I can't do it. I can't do it. And they're looking at her that what in the world? Like, I... Is this how everyone in their family acts? Like, do they all have mental illness like that? They do? Oh, you you have to have mental illness. They're just looking at her like, what in the world? Is she okay? We don't know you. We're calling our child to do this, this lifetime. So you got to move on. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay. Pick me, pick me. And they're like, who are you? Why are we picking you? You don't have any obligations to our bloodline. We don't have any obligations to you. We don't know you. We don't care much for what you have going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of cars. I should have stopped shuffling, but I didn't. Okay, 88. It says you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance in your life. I am wealthy. You hear that, Sally? Everything you're doing to block our collective, they're still going to be financially wealthy and abundant in life. Ooh, Sally. Ooh, you should have kept your money in your pocket instead of paying people to block our collective. Look at that, Sally. Look at that. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Lower curiosity is endless, and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. Excuse me, of the world. I am intelligent. Excuse me, I'm drinking my tea, and it's causing my mouth to get watery. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. It says stay focused on your best possible future and, re and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused. Okay, Sally, it ain't looking good for you. It looks like we're still being supported. 16, 7, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask you to ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. And that's the wisdom Sally don't want you sharing. Sally said, no, she's not skilled. He's not skilled. He don't know what he's talking about. She don't know what he, she's talking about. And they're just, again, your ancestors are bombastic. So I and someone they say, if you don't shut up, will you be quiet? Interfering in family business, family matters. Come on now. Honey, you're not like us. Collective, that's what we need to tell her. Hear her, him. You're not like us. Like Kendra Lamar said, not like us. <laughs> this is family matter. Okay, family matters. Stay over there. You're not like us. <laughs> 21 and 3, you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reviews itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring that you are a collective. What I've been doing when I read these, I put them in a different pile because I don't want us having the repetitive thing going on here, the repetition. So once I put them in the second pile and then we finish the first pile, we'll start over again. And then we'll get to a point where I order some more Oracle cards so we can have a little bit more zastiness going on over here, whatever we want, whatever we want to call it. Eight, nine, ten, completion. It said, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. I am a leader. Yes, you are collective. All these amazing things, and you want to let people 
discourage you from from being on your path honey if you don't get back on that path i don't care what you got to do we're all going to have a rough day we're all going to have some days that are just not the days we want to have but you got to find your strength to keep moving forward don't let nobody uh honey don't let no one a fool around with you like that come on now realistic goals progress is often more sustainable than perfection reevaluate when needed and thank you okay so maybe some of you are having some unrealistic goals um some something you need to do is just take things one day at a time maybe try to do maybe a couple of things a day that has to do with your dreams like where you see yourself um do it like that take it one day at a time don't like start leaping into the future you say i'm gonna do this or that, or that and that's when you get overwhelmed take things one at a time if you want to be someone that owns multiple businesses work on one business at a time and as you go on and achieve or accomplish one and then you get to the next one incorporate it so you have it all under one one incorporation one whatever you want to call it anyway thank you so much for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next read goodbye for now